Today's topic is all about marine electrical troubleshooting. First component that we need to discuss and to know what is the purpose is main contactors. All contactors must be discussed in this video. First step, we have here a contactors. Small contactors, it's depend upon the capacity or the rating. In this video, I'll discuss and simulate what is the purpose of contactors and the structure inside. We have here small, medium to large. Or we have a much bigger than this one, but this one only for simulation and structure purposes and how to assemble and overhaul in case replacement of contacts this one is contactors maker Snyder the small one is the relay relay and contactors almost the same concept but the relay is used for controls on board ships and other but the common is for a control circuit but the contactor is for the motors power circuit this one is Snyder it's a big capacity A1, A2 is the coil the coil is 440 A1, A2 it means the coil is only for activation this contactors to unlock there is a label and push this one contactors l1 l2 l3 is the supply and the t1 t2 t3 going to the thermal overload and then go to the motor this one is the small one LD 1D8 that and it has a normally close normally open contacts at the side this one is the thermal overload relay it has a rating it, it must be matched to the to the contactors and motors one is rated about the maximum rating is 63 the red one is the trip or trip button manual trip the other one is reset this one is 230 the coil is 230 a1 a2 is the coil Need to supply this one same but a small rating t1 t2 t3 at below and then above is l1 l2 l3 but at the top there is a extra contacts that is the movement up and down only for triggering l1 l2 l3 the coil that is the coil It's almost the same L1, L2, L3, T1, T2, T3 it means the contacts relay that's a rating also this one is the contact inside that is the coil it's almost the same concept but the contactors are bigger capacity we need to open this one so that we know what is the structure if we open this one you know how exactly contactor works no need to explain as long as you saw this structure you already understand contactors can replace a spare for contacts you need to change or we have a replacement for that one we open this top cover
these contactors has three contacts the main contacts l1 l2 l3 is like a switch only the coil is triggered to that uh, i mean the three contacts triggered by the coil it means our coil is 220 you can change also the coil as you can see this is the contacts so it's the same one two three three contacts only this is three phase used for our motors we can check manually in the tester you choose continuity mode like this it means that is connected for example this one when coil is activated this is pushed below because the coil is activate this contacts only activates but the contacts for the coil and the L1, L2, L3 is not connected I'll show you this one okay this one line 1 and T1 is connected during activation we will check line 2 See, it's connected this one also this one line 3 during activation of coil that is connected okay I will open this one so that we know what is inside of this, of this component this below below is the coil that is the spring that is actuated by the spring actuated with the spring ah oh, sorry actuated with the coil and after the coil de energize the spring will push the contacts this is the coil that i mean the coil has uh, you can change the coil same type but different rating sample you change 440 you can activate this contacts with 440 coil to 20 or by or 24 volts you can choose but the contacts is still the same only the coil you need to replace you need to replace only the contacts if it is damaged below it's the bolt for securing the contacts this one I need to lose it and remove it so that we can check the contacts but this contactor is new already remove it the, this one we will check the contacts you need to pull this one see this contact has its own spare sometimes you need to clean this one there is a PMS about contactors big contactors there is also a arc shoots for spark absorb spark there is a six arc shoots and three contacts that is the contacts you can also pull this one uh, you can also pull this one and clean it's only secured with a spring okay the structure is is like that there is a there is a lever 
or what you call this I forget the parts but that is only the structure inside there is a contacts three contacts and activated with a coil what happen if the coil is activate and the three contacts is has it has a voltage or not the question is if the coil is activated it is connected by the uh, the three contacts is connected with a coil or not as you can see in the the structure it is not connected okay I'll show you later and then in this part you can clearly that the coil and the three contacts is not connected only the coil is for activation clearly for activation example if your coil is 220 some other question it must be 220 for the power circuit L1 L2 no it's different voltage if you like that is the purpose of the for the contactors if you activate 220 and your motor is 440 that is the that is the main purpose of this one you can activate the contactor with a different rating rate rating for the coil or i mean the coil voltage this one i already put it back later we need to simulate this one we need to activate act one Okay, already secured the bolts for the contacts put it back the spring and if you have a additional information just feel feel free to comment below the securing guide This is the securing guide for the for the coil and this is I forgot to put the protection for the terminals. Okay. just place at the, uh, the right position and then okay that is in check and then type this securing bolt Okay, after you secured, it's okay. We need to simulate. We need to put a supply for this contactor. The supply for the coil is 220. put supply on the coil so that we can activate this three three contacts the main contacts okay. 
secured and need to put a supply the important is we need to simulate this one for nor as you can see when I make a or introducing a supply to the coil the contactor is activated we will check you need to place your tester to AC voltage and remove okay and then you can see the activation of the three contacts There is no voltage or there is no connection. This is what I mean. The coil is for activation only. It's like a switch that you activate remotely. It has a 220. Even I touch this three contacts, there is no voltage because you can see the structure is different it's separated now we need to check continuity test place to the continuity mode line 2 is connected All line 3 is connected the contact is good as you can see the readings of the tester this is the auxiliary contacts at the side small contactors you need to put a auxiliary extra contacts okay that's it no need some further explanation as long as you can see the structure and the purpose you already know it we need to put it back and that's it thank you sir seeing radio for supporting us always and he said thank you for hard work and making valuable videos thank you for appreciating us and he is a have a favor that we need to speak english so that they can understand also please subscribe marino rider ph this is my colleague he has a lot of good videos out there If you learn from this video, click like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates and follow us on Facebook, Barco TV. Thank you very much.